What's up guys, welcome back to a soft for sub 10 cars. Big up to all my subscribers, big up to all of you guys who watch the videos and like the videos. Today guys, I'm standing in front of two cars, two German cars, and both of them are for sale guys. My friend decided that he wanted, to, he wants to sell his BMW. And yeah, it's for sale guys. And the Golf R, as you guys know, is for sale. Anybody that is interested, just drop, drop me a DM on Instagram. And guys, just make sure you're, you're, you're serious about the cars. If you if you if you know you don't want a car, not you just want to be inquisitive and find out how much car costs and all that stuff, just don't DM me. If you're serious, you can send me a DM. But let me start up these cars, maybe pull them out and do a little walkthrough. So golf is a bit dusty, you know black cars show all the dust, all the dirt. There yeah, guys, pull it out. 18 inch wheels. Yeah guys, really nice interior, nice seats. No wear and tear on the seats. Very nice. So this connection that you see here guys, this plug up stuff is for the camera. It's for the, this camera thing you drive it and you drive and you know record, record, record and if you whatever I'm on the road. Oh the engine. I was gonna just go and park it back, but let me show you the engine before I park it back. Uh, open the open the bonnet. To show off, show off all the horsepower. There you go, guys. So, I really don't have to move this car. You know, since as I have space, the Golf is there, I have some space. So, don't have to move this car. 20 inch Vassen wheels, staggered, obviously. Beautiful red interior. Very, very nice red interior. And put on all them look red. <laughs> with um, accents and all them things. Sunroof. Open the bonnet. In here is a bit dirty guys, but yeah, I need to give in here a wash for real though. Man, it's dirt, dusty. But anyways guys, this car has intake, downpipe, um, and a tune. And I think it make, it make close to 500 horsepower. I need to put it on the dyno, I don't know for sure. This thing I sell me out and you know, show me some go party the other day. Close to close to 500 as well, I think. 
need to put it on the dyno to know for sure. But it drives very well. It has um, my name, BC coilovers. Yeah, BC coilovers. I put them. I put them on personally. Um, I think the front need to some adjustment need to make on the front. Um, I, I didn't bring it to the alignment since I put on the suspension on it. I service it myself, all that stuff. So I know that it's up to date to servicing everything. It drives real good. Need to wash out this engine bay though. Yeah, dirty. But yeah, guys, anybody that is interested in any of these cars, let me know. Can do a test drive. Can do a, a visit to look at them, to check them out. But only interested people, people that really need, need want the car, only you. So yeah, let me start up this car, a cool start. That's it for these cars guys, um, really lovely cars, you know people might be wondering why am I not keeping these cars, especially the Golf, uh, I have too much, <laughs> I have too many cars working on right now and I wouldn't have the time to, I don't know, I just don't have the time to, you know, start modifying this car right now, I have the GTR, I have the NSX to the NSX is another thing, jeez. So if I sell this car now, I then can invest the money into the NSX. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because the NSX is going to take a lot of money to get back on the road. But yeah, I need the GTR to be up and running. I need, um, need to finish that Suzuki Swift that I have there. Uh, the Chevelle need to finish. All the cars need to finish, everything. I have to respray the black series. There's so much I have on my plate right now. And this car, selling this car will help to fund all of those projects. So yeah, that explains that. I never thought about that, you know. I just I just got that idea. <laughs> but yeah man, it's a really lovely car though. You know, maybe in the future I'll buy back one. And maybe if it was an old classic car I wouldn't be selling it, you know. Because I might be buying a classic might be buying a classic guys so just wait just wait and see it's gonna be a surprise but yeah man this guy's this guy's way too much money just to have sitting around and it can do a lot of things you know if it was a cheaper car i wouldn't worry about selling it i would just keep it but it's a beautiful car lovely car and if you're interested let me know my friend got a car and a new car to him and um, my wife, my wife linked him the other day and said, how come um, she hasn't seen, seen the new cars yet? And he was like, yo, tell Safa to come for the car. Safa know him can just take up the car whenever I'm ready. So <laughs> I might just go for the car today, you know, and um, drive it around for a bit, you know, and you know, let the wife drive it and yeah, then we we'll bring it back. But yeah, boy, my friends then, sample so my friend is selling the bmw because he wants a, a, a another family vehicle you know um, he doesn't want a sports car you know he wants to get another family vehicle another suv um he's not a racer and all that stuff so you know i mean he love the car love driving it but it's a bit too much car right now so unfortunately guys my friend a friend of mine meet in a car accident so I was running around helping out with a few things so I didn't get to pick up the car today and I'm sure you guys understand that so maybe in another video I'll just do a vlog on my friend's car by itself it's a pretty interesting car and like I said my wife says she wants to drive it as well so that's gonna be a cool vlog but in the meantime guys I found a new I think I found a new hobby I'm obsessed with these, with these little cars. Guys, 
to know that these cars can go over 80 miles per hour you know i can bring this to vernon field and, and beat a lot of the cars at vernon field this probably can run like 10 seconds or 9 seconds you know? yeah man this fast 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 i think that's a challenge i'm gonna buy a rc car and take it to vernon field and run it down the track but i hope the radar can go that far though radio as in as in the controller yeah but anyways guys i'm gonna see you guys in another in another video um hopefully you know man, we can get this. oh blows on skirt yo the local carrier fast guys fast fast all right guys see you in the next video The brick and the brick flip it enough. The brick, the jar the brick and the car flip. Blows the skirt. Boom! I can't control this, it's too fast. <laughs> Yo! I definitely need to get a GPS to put on it to see how fast it's going. Man. And there's this other one that I want to buy. It got, it got 200 kilometers. I'm going to buy that one and bring that one to Vernon Field. It's too fast, man. Awesome.